Our lesson today is on solving proportions by using cross products. And this is a method I heard you guys learned last year in sixth grade, so hopefully you find this lesson pretty easy. We'll start by looking at why cross products work. So 6 eighths and 3 fourths, are those fractions equivalent? Well, we know they are. Because we divide 6 by 2, we get 3. 8 by 2, we get 4. So these two fractions are equal. But what if we were to multiply diagonally? Multiply 6 by 4 gives us 24. And we, know, we multiply 8 by 3 also gives us 24. And we should notice that these are equal. Next. How about 3 sevenths and 9 twenty-firsts? Well, let's see, we do 3 times 3 to get 9. And we do 7 times 3 to get 21. So we know these are, again, equivalent fractions. Now, what if we would multiply diagonally? Multiply 3 by 21 gives us 63. And multiply 9 by 7, again, gives us 63. These fractions, therefore, are equal. I'm sorry for the pause. That was Jay Rafferty interrupting my recording. Now, moving down, we have 4 ninths and 8 eighteenths. So, again, we know they're equal. Multiply 4 by 2 to get 8, 9 by 2 to get 18. But, multiply diagonally. 4 times 18 is 72. And then 8 by 9 is 72. Again, cross products are equal. Therefore, our fractions are equal. And that is what this cross products property says. In any proportion, the products formed by multiplying the num numerator of 1 by the opposite denominator are equal. So we're going to solve this proportion for D. We have 2 ninths equals 3 over D. Now, think about our methods we learned before. We can't get from 2 to 3 easily, and 2 ninths is already in lowest terms. So we're kind of stuck. So we're going to use this cross products method. Multiply each numerator by the opposite denominator and set the products equal to each other. So 2 times D, multiply diagonally, just write as 2D. 9 times 3, 9 times 3 is 27. So we have 2D equals 27. So 2 times something equals 27. Then we divide each side by the coefficient. That is the number that multiplies the variable. So 2D divided by 2 leaves us just with D. And 27 by 2 equals 13 and a half. And there is our answer. D equals 13 and a half. So very easy, guys. Cross multiply and divide. So go ahead and try to work the following problems on your own. You can pause the video and do that now while I work right through them. So 6 times 15 equals 9 times x. 6 times 15 is 90. 90 equals 9x divided by 9. We get 10 equals x. 2 fifths equals d over 8. So 2 times 8 equals 5d. 16 equals 5d. Divide both sides by 5. It's a one-step equation. And I'm going to leave it as 16 fifths equals D. Or you can always have 3 and 2 tenths equals D. Either form is fine by me. And finally, 3 fourths equals C over 10. So we have 3 times 10 equals 4 times C. 30 equals 4C. Divide both sides by 4. We get multiple forms here. We get 7.5 equals C. You could have it as the mixed number or as an improper fraction. All are equivalent. All are correct. 
This concludes your video on cross product proportions. By request, a shout out to my eighth hour class. Have a good evening.